Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here coming from our studio in Detroit. We're going to run across, I say Detroit, Lansing. And we're going to come across, across the state now. We're going to be in Grand Rapids with uh, Brent Case. He's the vice president of uh, business attraction for the right place. And uh, Brent, welcome. It's good. And Brent is a longstanding friend. We've known each other quite a long time. And, and uh, it might be good, though, to just kind of reiterate right place and what you guys do. Sure. Thanks, Chris, for inviting me to join you today. Um, the Right Place has been around since 1985. We are a regional economic development organization, um, similar to the Lansing Economic Area Partnership over in Lansing, um, DRP over in Detroit, where we work with about eight county partners uh, around the region to do economic development, including the traditional retention expansion. And of course, my primary role is to do attraction and bring new investment and jobs to the region. You are what we call in the industry a hunter. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. And proudly so. And uh, we appreciate, so does Grand Rapids, all the stuff you brought there. And you are um, in the middle of uh, a big deal, actually, with Roland Hills. Tell, tell us about that. Yeah. Sure. Well, Roland Hill is a New York-based manufacturer of um, high-end furniture and high-end lighting systems. Um, they sell primarily to hotels and um, wealthy individuals. I mean, you're not going to buy a table there for under four or five grand or a light fixture for um, any less than that as well. And so their, their um, showroom is in downtown Manhattan. And um, it, was, it was in, the, I would say, the fall of 2019 that I first met with them. And they were purchasing a, a furniture manufacturer here in the greater Grand Rapids region. So we helped them identify a site. Um, the facility didn't come with it. They were buying the assets and taking on some of the people. But right in the middle of the pandemic, they executed the sale and opened their first facility in Wyoming. Um, through the pandemic, they grew from, they took four employees with them. Now they're up to 22 employees. And so they were pleasantly surprised with the, the growth that they did experience, even during the pandemic, and their uh, ability to find employees in the greater Grand Rapids market. So um, conversations went on and they're like, you know, New York just costs us a lot of money to do business here. And we really wanna have the operations near each other. They thought at first they would just move the lighting manufacturing into their furniture manufacturing facility but it just wasn't gonna work out. They needed to separate the two operations. So we helped them identify another location. Um, they closed on that deal. MEDC came to the table with some support for our business development um, program grant. West Michigan Works and Grand Rapids Community College also put together a, a training grant proposal to help them um, hire and train 50 new employees some may come from New York, but most of them are going to be hired from right here in the greater Grand Rapids community. Well, I'll tell you what, that, that is a tremendous piece of moving someone from Manhattan to Grand yeah. Rapids. That's got to puff your chest out a little bit. Yeah. Well, they're going to keep their showroom in Manhattan because, as sure. you can imagine, that's where, you know, their customers like to see them. But their, their manufacturing was in Long Island. And, you know, it's just, as we know, New York is an expensive place to do business. Yeah, but it's a fruitful market. I mean, when you look at the fact that Cadillac moved all their branding, marketing, et cetera, to Manhattan, yeah. that, that's a very lucrative market. So yeah, exactly. I can see where that happened. Okay, so from here on out, it's just constant growth. Um, tell me about uh, Next Venture, or is there something in the pipeline? And maybe you well, don't even have to give us names. Right, I can't give names, but... Um, Right now, I've got about a dozen projects in the pipeline. Some announcements could be forthcoming, but we're talking more than millions of investment. We're talking billions of dollars of investment and thousands of jobs. And so if, if they all hit, we're going to be um, working really hard to get all these employees. But our, our market is growing. You know, the population continues to grow over here on the west side. Um, we have a very educated workforce, lots of um, college graduates, about 90,000 in university or community college at any one time. So we have the talent pipeline as well. 
Well, that, that, that was going to be my next question is because the, the, there are a couple of things. Inflation is one of them that's affecting business uh, like crazy. Supply chain is another. But people is the third. And actually, people is the number one. It really issue. is. It is. Yeah. It's, it's the number one issue that we face. And, um, you know, hopefully there'll be people returning to the workforce as the pandemic, you know, subsides and um, all these opportunities make themselves available. So um, we're confident that we can support any company that wants to locate in Greater Grand Rapids. So are you seeing, and this won't shock Roland Hill because they're coming from Manhattan, but wage inflation. Oh, that's for, another sure. Thing. for sure. Yeah, we don't know if that's going to be permanent, but there definitely is one to two dollar an hour wage inflation, lots of competition amongst manufacturers in the region. Well, I would say prices of commodities may come down. It's very difficult to bring down wage. So you, we're just going to have to get used to, I think, a new level. Yeah, I agree. All right, buddy. It's always good to see you. Great course, to see you, uh, Chris. Yeah, Vice President of, uh, of Development and Business Attraction for the right place, uh, our old friend, uh, Brent Case. Brent, take care. Thanks for take the good work you're doing. All right. Thanks for all of you, too, for watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman. Stick around. There's a lot